I'm going to stick my neck out and try and explain how I think that sin and salvation work. Biblically, sin is what diverges from God's will as recorded in the Ten Commandments. It puts a wedge between humanity and God. What we think sin is, is only a symptom of sin. Murder, adultery, theft, anger, etc. Sin really is the broken and messed up relationships that human beings have with people, food, money, stuff, etc. It's when your life is out of balance and the relationship with those things is skewed from what God intended. According to the book of Genesis, sin came into the world through a broken relationship. Humanity and God walked and talked together happily until humanity disobeys God, becoming aware that God was holy and they were not. Feeling naked and ashamed compared to God, they ran and hid. God sets up the sacrificial system so that humanity can see the consequences and debt of their broken relationships visibly set right. God doesn't need sacrifice to know that we're sorry or to show our love. God's able to look on the heart. Humans require action. Giving the sacrifice enables people to feel that they've done what is needed. Christ's sacrifice was to end this system. People could see, know and understand and take to heart that the sacrifice was made once and for all. We can accept that God does want a relationship with us and that we are so loved by God. Restoring that relationship, we begin to restore the other relationships. Not fixing each sin after it happens, but fixing the broken relationships which cause those symptoms. We start to embody the relationship exemplified in the commandment to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and strength and love your neighbour as yourself. Mm -hmm.